we're here back at Jim's place. Doug's just back to pick up some extra parts or spare parts. We just decided to come out because we wanted to help in any way that we could. You know, I think, well, Jim's really happy. Doug's happy. Doug was saying that he was driving the truck last night. It's good. So let's go and check it out, see what's going on. I might even ask him about the Oldsmobile. <laughs> Pull this thing over. Uh, I, I'm just going to come back. Uh, yeah. another, uh, here, but I'm, I'm just going to come back. Well, okay. The, the chain follows works uh, lighter than muscle. You know what I mean? Like I understand. I, I just throw a hole down, a chain down through that hole up there, and then I can just pick it up and we can drop it on. Otherwise, we have to push it up. Hill. Do we have to get the truck back up on the? Well, no, but uh, the hole's right above. Okay, we'll, we'll right do, there. We'll do right it right that way. We'll do his way. We'll just wait for Jim. You know, like, but well, I need a hand lift those stairs down, or I just, what do you, what do you want me to do? I'm gonna get rid of this stuff first. Okay. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I only want to do it once. Well, I'm just gonna use one to whatever chain fall. That's not possible. Like, if I fall, I don't know. Um, I have a straight eight if you want it. Straight eight, but the engine block had a crowbar drove through it because Murphy's junkyard had a habit of uh, ruining uh, things. Oh, yeah, they uh, junk car to make sh to know if the motors ain't good anyway. They took the oil pan off, looked up, bearings were burnt. Yeah. So they took a crowbar, smashed through the block. So when people, so when they're walking through their junkyard and they open up the hood, if they see a hole in the block, they know the motor's no good. Sure. Otherwise, they'll sell for a hundred bucks. Mm. <laughs> so anyway, but there's a straight eight over here with um, a hole inside. It, it's in rough shape, but yeah. I um, called. I called them a straight eight here a bit ago. I don't know. They're, they're basic. Good. They're the same motor as the six cylinder, except for there are two extra cylinders. I guess we'll just like, hold down on this exact same motor. There, yeah. that. Okay. Oh, I'm making them do all the work, aren't I? No. Yeah. This is all about that Where'd you get that skill saw at? I seen one of them back in 1955. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, that's what I used in the other house. Yes. Uh, in all kinds of my work, that the mini grinder, and I did um, all kinds of scroll work and fancy, like just unbelievable. See, when you restore an old house and you go extra fancy, like with crown molding and stuff, and you can't stop. You just gotta keep going. So anyway, I burned out all my fanciness in that house and then I sold it. And in this house, I use an ax <laughs> for my fine detail. Like I, I, and then there's no rolls. You, you don't have to answer to yourself. <laughs> Jim, you wanna tell them what time you took the chimney out of your house? Oh yeah, that was in the other house. Um, let me see if I remember. <laughs> the chimney was bad and it was kind of like a loft where it was two stories and open, and I was standing up on the floor with a sledgehammer, whoop, whoop, whoop. and it was, um, the chimney was in really bad shape, so I figured that if I hit it with a sledgehammer up here at the ceiling, the bricks would just start falling out, and I could just beat it right down, but instead, it broke off at the bottom, and then all of a sudden, it got away from me, and down it went, and, um, it went right through over against the wall of the house, uh, right beside a $2,000 electrical entrance and all the wires and everything hooked up. And then it went down and it continued and it hit the floor, knocked out, smashed out the floor right into the basement. So instead of just uh, putting up a new chimney and fixing the floor, I had to basically fix the wall and put a whole new floor on the first level, plus the upper stuff. Like, yeah. And... 
Uh, yeah, it was uh, quite a cloud of dirt. Uh, you couldn't, I couldn't breathe, and I had no way of getting down. I had to jump like eight feet down onto nothing, like I'm or ten feet down. Like it, it, it was crazy. Like um, I had a friend there, which had to kind of come in and kind of get a bunch of crap together so that I could jump down on it to get slide down to get down and out of there. Because you couldn't yeah. breathe. And the dirt was so thick in the air from the crash. Look, I'm afraid the engine's going to fall Oh, uh, Actually, maybe you come along to the front of the trailer for yeah. this and just suck it right up with planks. Yeah. I'll just give you the planks. Well, it's, uh, got a, it's got a remite in there on that. If this lifted uh, here, can, can we lift that? And put you that hold the on? engine, I'll, I'll, I'll try to lift it. You hold the engine from falling no, over. Right. I understand that, but once that once that engine. Lift up, lift up. Okay. Oh, my. There we go. Work way too hard. All right, now so just hold the engine, Jim. Will you hold the engine from falling over? Because once okay. go that way, yeah. right? I want you to hold over this way because it's on that. Oh, okay. It's on the. It's on and the I, can, I can't really push too much. Watch that. Because that engine's heavy V8, I would say. Just a minute now, I'm gonna put something here. All right, how you feeling, Doug? I'm fine. Just a pole caddy. It's easy. Uh, we could put a block on here. Let's block it for a second. Just wood. We get a heat hot water, we'll get her up. Yeah. I just don't let that engine fall, that's all. Okay. Let's keep that going. There we go, we got it. You like doing things the old way just like I do, Doug. <laughs> Lifting and grunting and tearing your asshole up. Oh. Well, I used to do it myself. But... <laughs> that's the way you just get things done, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's turn her around. Dump it. Try to. I, I've been using double arms and helpers so long I've uh, lost all my muscles. First. Just a minute now. <laughs> just a minute now. We'll pull it this way and then dump her. Roll it. And just let it go? Yes. <laughs> All right. Watch this. I don't want you to stand with your foot over the front there. Let's get back uh, on. Uh, get, uh, can you get behind it somehow? Can you get behind it? I'm just trying to clear that in. All right. Well, let's 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 drop off. Off. There we go. Pardon? Yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Right over the wheels. Lovely. Thing of beauty and joy to behold. You want to take the head off this one, Doug? I know how to do it. No, no old galleries on her. Got her. Jim, you must be making plans to fill the to fill the place, haven't you? No. No. No, no not yet. Can I go back and look at the wheel? Oh, what? Can I go back and look at that? Oh, okay. Well, you didn't even seem like you wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's so lots going on, and it was so cold that you couldn't go. <laughs> <think. laughs> I told him that was a nice car when it's done up. Uh, yeah. Very desirable. Very quick. Yeah, Very it had a good motor. We couldn't get it going, and it sat for 30 years. Yeah. And now, it, well, anyway, it, I wouldn't say it has, it has a good motor now. I did put oil in it and turn yeah. it over, but you know what? You know what? Thirty years sitting outdoors yeah. and everything else yeah. uh, does. You don't want to sell that yet. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Talk to. Um, it's worth it's worth um fairly good money. I hear that. <laughs> it's, a, it's not a seventy-three. It's a seventy-four. Yes. It was made in seventy-three. But it's a 74 model. Like I would never, never want to. Uh, you know. And the guy preserved it. Like I never ran it. But I bought it from a guy that uh, he was partying at a house uh, down the road. And it was in the junk pile. And he bought it for a couple hundred dollars, dragged it home. And he, the carburetors were all messed up. And he spent like $500 and replaced everything in the carburetors. And he drove it for a year. Anyway, I bought it from him. And he said he drained the gas and put some kind of preservative in it because the gas tank inside is just silver. Oh, wow. And it still, it still turns over. 
cool. Like I think he sprayed something in the cylinders, but it, but anyway, it it's there. I haven't had a chance to get anywhere near it. it oh, but it's sad. It only has eleven thousand miles on it. You take your time and think about what you want for it. Let, let us know. Well, I could sell it pretty quick for twenty five hundred. Yes, probably. Uh, probably to twenty different people with a phone call. That doesn't say what you want for it, though. No, but <laughs> technically, what I'm saying is anything more than that. Well, you, I got the papers. You put a price on it because I would, I, you know, I would be interested. But I don't like. I mean, I want you to, you know, put your price. You on know, it. like, and if I'm happy I, with it, I would be interested, wouldn't we, baby? I don't even know what they go for when they're restored, like across the country. But I would suspect at least between six and twelve. I wouldn't restore it. I would leave it just the way it is. I'd uh, probably, well, it needs, uh, the fork tubes are rusty, so you had to replace the fork tubes. Well, I'm, I'd probably clean it up, but I'd probably... Oh, they're the rusty. Yeah, okay. Like, the, if you drove them, the oil will come right out. You know what I mean? Like seals on chrome. Yeah. Like, you know what seals yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I understand that. But I'm, what I'm just saying, I'd probably... I'd yeah. 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 Uh, this was one of the transfers. Uh, yes. I like that. But anyway, um, well, I don't know if I um, can actually put a price on it and feel... Uh, Will you take your time and put your price on? Um, Let me know. Like, when I see, don't the reason feel why I'm not a businessman is because I can't put a high price on things and put a good and feel good about it. Okay. Like if I told you I'd sell for thirty five hundred, I'd feel guilty because I paid seven hundred dollars for it. That doesn't matter. No that doesn't matter. But the thing is, the Hudson truck I got like um. Is that what you I've, want for that? Well, I can't say no if I would. I could sell it for thirty five hundred. Okay. Just give, you just you just give me a minute. I'm gonna look around. Cool. Well, well I know. Um, as I said, I've had a lot of a lot of people ask about it, but nobody offers me any money that's over two thousand or less, and I'm not interested. Like, know what I mean? Um, well, I can honestly say that. Like, uh, as I, I said, the RV upstairs. I've been offered. Oh, you ever sell this? You let me know. But they only want to give me two thousand dollars for it. What's an RV? That Skidoo. Oh, okay. That 77 RV 340 yeah. with expansion chambers, like top state-of-the-art performance. Like, they're hot machines. Like, everybody loves them. But the thing is, nobody really wants to pay anything for them. You know, but that's why I'm not in, I'm not a business person. I, that's why I, <laughs> all this stuff followed me here. Yeah. And I just, you know, I'm just kind of stuck with it, and I can't do it all. And it overwhelms me. Matter of fact, I, I came out here this afternoon, and I got so Jesus overwhelmed, I went in late, I went to sleep, and I woke up and turned on the computer, and then they answered your call, and here you are. So I just woke up from a deep sleep or dreams. I don't even I can't even remember my dream, but I was having fun. But it was, it was, uh, it was good. Uh, uh, the battery tied down. What do we do with that? Oh, that, I gave that, it to you. Did you? That was in that little bit of a... Yeah, that was box. on the box. Okay. Thanks. That was homemade. That wasn't yeah. original. Okay. I don't know what the original looked like. Oh, close enough. Go in. Mm -hmm. I'd like to like this all it really needs is a floor. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, obvious. Uh, I wouldn't restore it. Well, you, you know, know. I'd, they'll open up the doors, see how they fit. Well, and the, the neat thing is, the floor's gone. Yeah. All the cabs supports are gone. Yeah, look how good the doors still fit, and every single thing is unhooked. It's all like I think it's the, like what's holding the car together. Because look, <laughs> the door fits perfect. On like both it. sides, and there's no body left anywhere. I cut it all out, like it was rusted out. Just the little, like the sills aren't holding it together, and all the cab mounts in the trunk are all gone too. Like what is holding this car together? Because nothing down here is, so it, like, nothing. Like, um, it's all totally apart, but the doors fit absolutely perfect. But anyway, um, be nice, well be nice but to I on, have a, on a different chassis, like a newer chassis with a newer engine and leave it the way it is. Uh, did you look at the frame in these? It's, it? it's uh, more frame in this than a bulldozer. It's frame. Yeah. yeah, and it's and like a frame. quarter of an inch thick. Just like it's like uh, all frame yeah. everywhere. Like unbelievable amount of frame. And then you got two tongues coming out of here. So if you have a front end collision... You can break the weld and the tongue, slide it out, slide new one in. Oh my. Oh yeah. My 57 Chev, same way. Mm -hmm. No, it's overkill yeah. in the frame. But then no, you're, uh, during the, 
like you're not in, like it's funny, you take every short, like you pick up an engine block rather than use come alongs, but then you take a perfectly good frame that's all intact and rip it out just to put another frame in because you have to modify. Well, it's I'm... right in your blood, isn't it? <laughs> you can't leave anything totally alone and just go with the flow. You have to just... <laughs> well, that's, that, you know what that is, that frame right there? It's so complicated to make oh, a and No, the it. problem is if the ball joints are wore out, they're $600 a piece. Wow. They, you know, because well, they're, so, they're only for this year. Like the next year and the year before, I think, are different. Like, that's the problem. It's, and all the control arm bushings are wore out or yeah. cracked, and they're expensive. Like, it's, that's the problem with cars in the 50s. They're all unique. They're different than any other year. And you have to individually buy the parts. What was this place? This is, was a dairy cattle farm in the 40s, and the cattle were here, and this is where the hay went. And there's a hole in the floor where the hay was thrown down from upstairs, okay. and then they fit. Like, the hay would be here, and they'd go along and push it down in the little trough where the 80 head of cattle would eat right oh, here. Okay. But uh, I had the papers and the, car, and the bike. Like, I never, well, anyway, it... It has been on the road for 20 years, but uh, you can push down the gear shifter or the kickstarter. Can I think it still turns over. But these motors, uh, if you want it to run it, you have to take the head off. Have to, because they have a real faulty system on their timing chain. And they have um, nylon bushings and little, like, uh, like spring reacted like um what do you call that tensioners yeah. and they break and wear yeah. and chip off and the chain will thrash and it'll break the chain and throw the thing out of timing yeah. but uh that's general maintenance you take the head off put new idlers down in there and then um put it back together do you have the seat for it no no seat but uh Anybody that has that anybody has one of these, they know they gotta take the top end off. But what you see is what you get then. Um, yes, and the fairing is off the old 900 I had back in the 70s because I I had one of these and I drove like hell. Like I had one of these with that Rickman on it, and the day I bought that thing, a friend of mine was uptown and he met somebody that said. Oh, I got Jim Patterson's old Rickman fairing. Oh, drop it off to you. The same day I bought this, uh, all, right out of the blue, this guy pulled it in the yard and gave me the fairing off my old one. Wow. So I just stuck it there. But I have to talk to Jolene. Yep. Well, you have a chat. Let's, uh, uh, we'll, 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 we'll try to find some parts. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, back, um, back bumper? Upstairs? Oh, we, uh, Chad, you yes. need a hand. Uh, can you unhook that chain, right? Oh, we're not going to be able to because I, I got it up too high. I'm going to have to loosen off the come logs oh, first. Okay. I guess that's not the plan right the moment, but that's quite a quite a machine, actually, if you know what I mean. That's what. Yeah. And what it is like? It's, it, you know, some pieces missing off it, but it is what it is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What do you want for it? Thirty-five hundred. I have no idea what you're with. You'd have to do a little research. What do you think? Can I say yes? Or no? Okay. 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 Oh, we, I've been researching them. And oh. I've been researching them. Yeah. And, okay. uh, I know. Uh, I think it's that's, really... I think that's reasonable. I'm... I honestly... I am so burned out with stuff... Yeah. ...that I'm on... Um, I'm, I'm on this mood to thin things out a little bit so I have less overhead so I can come back to life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I haven't... Like, the last four or five years of my life, I've been depressed because I'm just overwhelmed. And then the Hudson gave me such a hell of a time trying to keep it running everywhere I went. 
I had to get ladies on sidewalk. Will you give me a push so I can get this thing going? And I've had ladies set their purses and groceries down to help me push the truck to get it going. Well, if you were under stress, what happened when you put the check in the box? I never got to the bank yet. Oh, good. good, good. <laughs> Honest to God, I was going to do that today, but I, I laid down and sleep. Uh, where did the bumper go? Uh, it's over there. Okay. I see it. Okay. Um, there might be. We need a turn of a flashlight. I don't think there's too much up here that's any good. You know, but yeah, you see, most of the things on the Hudson when I was doing it, they got dragged downstairs. Yeah, a water pump down there. Isn't yeah, yeah. There might be a, a, some stuff up here, but I don't don't think so. I think most of it went downstairs. Is this the bumper? Uh, yep. And yes, I can handle this. I'm going back down to take a better look at that motorcycle. Like, I am in love with it. I want now, it. This bumper's off, off the car, but I folded it. I modified the frame a little bit in the back, so that fits right on. But I personally thought it looked a little too classy, so I took it off. I like the original one. But anyway, there's the, there's the original. This is the springs to bring it up to a three-quarter ton. And I'll tell you, it sits in the air pretty high. And it, you could put 10 engine blocks and a car on the back of that truck, and she wouldn't squash down. I think you could carry two cords of wood. <laughs> and it wouldn't squash down. Originally, it doesn't even have rubber bumpers on the frame because the rear end never goes up and hits it. Yeah. But I got the rubber bumpers off the car, and the holes were in the original frame for the rubbers, but they weren't there. Mm -hmm. But on the car, one of them was missing. I gave them to you. They're in yeah. that box. Uh, you said there was actually chrome. Uh... Oh, that's downstairs. downstairs. Okay. So we're done here? I believe so. Oh, hubs. Hubs. Oh. Any hub there that looks like it's got your wheel pattern, there's two hub, two sets of hubs there, Studebaker and Hudson. Anything there that looks like it has your wheel pattern is Hudson. And the other is Studebaker. Studebaker is uh, quite a bit bigger, so uh, quite a bit bigger. Uh, but there should be two or four hubs there. And these brake shoes right here fit, fit that. These brake shoes fit the 10-inch hubs there that are painted for the Hudson for the other rear end. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, that's, that's Hudson, if you want it. Sure. Well, any, any and there's a little bit of Hudson chrome and junk in here. Anything you see that's Hudson, just I, grab I, it. I, I wouldn't know what to see it. You're oh. done with Hudson, are you? I'm going to get rid of this. this yeah, no, you, sure? you'll have to do the identification. Okay, okay. there's a silver transmission there that goes. Where's that at? Uh, right back there by that bike. There's another bike that you can have if you want it for modification. That's an 1100 Yamaha, no five. Nope. Okay, that silver transmission. Right there. See, I was lost in thought. They see, you had me lost in thought, Jimbo. <laughs> lost in thought. What's it? Plan. <laughs> I think it's an opportunity of a lifetime, really, to be honest with you. Oh, you, guys do a hard labor. you got me doing some hard thinking, I know that, Jim Bone. You got me doing some hard thinking, you do. Okay. I'll go back up here and give him a hand. That transmission is a good looking transmission. Good looking transmission. You know what I mean? You got the holes in it, really Art Deco. Mm. That's cool. I think it's an opportunity of a lifetime, really. I don't know. We 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 and Jolene like to talk this stuff over. <laughs> I'm caught in an awkward position, cameras up. <laughs> She's making a video. I never thought Jim would sell it. He never ever told me that he would sell it. He's giving me a price today. And I would never think about asking anything other than what he's giving me for a price because I think it's a fair price. We'll see. We'll see. You wouldn't have very many opportunities, time and opportunities to own something like that, I don't think. Or if you do, they're few and far between. People have taken a liking to them. It's not completely all there. 
this in the seat. This in the seat. It also doesn't have the original pipes on it. The original pipes inside would cost you a bunch. But I think if you look that bike up, it'd be in the 20s when you're all done. Oh, it may be more, I'm not sure. But let's face it, you would be into that much restoring it. You know, it's time toward the park, painted it, did clean the engine up, um, got the right seat, got everything. In the end, in the end, if you wanted to re-chrome the wheels and make it look brand new, in the end, you'd be in for what you paid for it. If me and Jolene acquire it, I'd probably leave just the way it is and try to get the seat for it. Maybe try to find the pipes or something like that. It'd be a fun project. And if I'm thinking about it, I'm going to get him to throw his Jimmy Farron in. <laughs> See what happens. Oh, I was going to put more here. All kinds of cool stuff. I just don't take it in right now. We're not, you know, kind of focused on what we're doing. We're sanding down a Jaguar right now. Um, yeah. That's why I'm focused. If I'm out running and picking, I'd be more digging. <laughs> but right now, I know where Jim lives. And uh, it's been here. No, that's true, because it's little stuff. I'm just glad that Doug and Jim got to meet. You know what I mean? We had supper with, with uh, Doug telling them that what the price Jim won. I think it's good. I wonder where I put my flashlight. Watch my old brain twirl, are you? <laughs> uh, is that what you're thinking of taking me? Watch my brain twirl? Oh, did you? What's what's the registration? Is it, is, what's the registration? 74 on that? It's made in November 73. But it's a, anything after August. 73, I believe, is a 74 model. So that makes that a 74 model. Okay. But it was made in November in the 73, according to the paper. But it's right on the paperwork. It's a 1974. Yeah. I had one. Uh, mine was a 75. Okay. But that's a Z1. Yeah. It's not a KZ. Uh, There's a difference. Big bit. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Round tilling. Yeah. And the 900 was like... Uh, they made um, like a zillion Z KZs, okay. and they only made a few the Z ones, and the Z ones were like uh, the collector's item of it all. Like that's the bike. Um, you put a good header on it, Kirker, yeah. with a race baffle, yeah. and you start it up at a party, <laughs> and you warm it up, <laughs> and you just hold it wide open and go. Whoa! Like right up and bang, 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 and flames come up out the exhaust pipe. <laughs> right. and Sounds like he's done that before. It. It's louder than that cobalt with okay. the open exhaust. Like you can hear it from Digby to Windsor. <laughs> That's how loud that bike is when it has a header on. Holding my hands back, Doug, is I want that bike like you want that. <laughs> well, as I said, I, I'm materialistically burned out. I. Uh, I want maybe a couple cars in the Ferrari. I might even move back to Burlock if you want a farm. <laughs> it's quite a spot too, isn't it, really? Yeah. It is a good spot. Yeah. yeah. And, no, see, that's two back here. It's got wheel nuts. Okay. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. You got that other cash question? I did. Yeah, perfect. Transmission one day. Watch me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So, when we ever find a chance, maybe when we find another one. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, like, you know. Oh, that rear end right here goes. The one, the one that's exposed. Wait before I start trying to pick that up. I said there's a, he said there's a rear end that goes, but I'm going to wait and see which one yeah, it is before yeah. we start picking it up. Exactly. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Uh, I got a whole bunch of these coil springs, spares for the hood. Oh, yeah. So right. you might as well take them. They're no, yeah. They don't fit. Doug, you're the kind of guy for that sort of stuff, aren't you? You yeah. nitpick and look at that stuff over, make everything work yeah, just like a clock. This is all Hudson. I just the dinner table and everything about taking a clock course and learn how to fix a clock. On the end, these or are chromes that went... Um, Someplace on the Hudson, and this had a little emblem oh, of the glass in it. And I have the glasses, but I think the little triangles here, which I hear somebody. Oh, there they are. 
This, yeah, this is all better. And that's a little better, so I won't put it in the heavy box. But over by my Selena face. Gomez, if you get to see this, this is Jim's Ferrari. <laughs> Jim loves Lena Gomez, doesn't he? Yeah. Open. 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 Hey man, I'm just sticking it up there. Sticking it up there. Jolene likes the, likes the, the Studebaker over there. She tells me that I should turn the roof around so the two back windows or the two front windows and have it more like a submarine. I'm thinking that as I see the back, I'd like to have another back and put it on the front so it would look like a submarine, if you know what I'm saying. You have windows all the way around the top like a submarine so you have two back windows there. If you had another back, another back part of the roof and put it on the front and then had your two side windows the same as the windows, you could have like a sub looking thing. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's an idea and a half. I shouldn't have said that. You know, like the old burlap baggy looking stuff. That's what they originally had. And I never did get it. I think that's, see that there? See? That's cool. The antenna, bolt to your side, okay? Cool. Back around, sewed a little bit, would do the same thing. And it went on with bills. Gives us. Half inch long tacks. Tags, right through and tags. Messed around up underneath the dash and sticking right into your fingers. But yeah, it went I, on I, with. I, I have some heavy wide rubber. That I oh, that's Hudson. Front might work for that. That's all Hudson. I wish I'd throw that in there. Yeah. Okay, I think we got this. Well, it works. Okay, I'll, I'll get this box. Um, I have a, whoops, I have a, another radiator that I ran, yeah. but it had a hidden mouse nest that come out, okay. and I washed it all out, yeah. and um, for some reason, it wasn't circulating. Yeah. I think it needs to be cleaned, it, in, yeah. and sure. so I took it out, and I put the other radiator in that I had yeah. troubles with, yeah. that I finally flushed, and it works. Yeah. But um, when it gets real hot, there might be a pinhole in one of the corners, because that's why I took it out, yeah. but I never fixed it because I'm not good at it. I, I learned after two months of soldering, I'm no good at fixing radiators. Okay. So, <laughs> like, I didn't get any better. I practiced, practiced, practiced. I did not get any better. That's right, that's a better one. I got another radiator that came out of a 41 six cylinder car. And that's the one that I had in it for a little while. But it, but it needs to be, the cores need to be flushed. Like it needs to be taken apart and brushed out. Yeah, like in the old books, they used to take them out and they had a tool that would go down yeah. And, yeah. and clean them. Yeah. But anyway, uh, well, the cores is always good to have. Anyway, this. There's the brackets that bolt in, homemade, but that's the brackets right there that bolt in the other radiator. Okay. If you want it. Sure. Now you might, I used the bottom plate that I had made that bolted it to the frame. Yeah. I used it on the Ferrari, yeah. I think. I cut it up. And, yeah. So I, we I lost that. that. Oh, can you come over here? Mm -hmm. I can. We are working with this. Can I come with it? Yep. Wow. Be careful, don't bust it any. No. But it, it, the cores are plugged up. They okay. need to be yeah, flushed out. But I took, I used the bottom plate. Yeah. Or I think I did. Maybe I didn't, but I think I did. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yep. Yeah, that's right there. Oh, that's all. Where is it? Yeah. 
Want this in the back of your truck, Doug? Pardon? Want that in the back of your truck? Uh, sure. Yeah, good idea. But that's all, Hudson. You want it? Oh, watch your step. By the way, you're, um, you should have been on the other side so you can have to walk backwards. Or push that same. We're suckers. For Want to hand with that? Hard. Want to hand with that? Definitely suckers for working hard. Want to hand with that, Matt? All right. All right. We're going to bunch of jokes on you. Here, I got a ladder on you. Then you got something here to trip you. Yeah. Um, kind of pays not to go very fast. Yeah. There's no nails anyway. You don't have to worry about that. No nails. Here, just grab one. All right. You'll be able to do good to scrap here. Build another one. Scrap you. Do that now, would you? Yeah. Right here. Okay. I think uh, all those tidbits in there, these aren't, but all these things are uh, control, control arm, arm bushings. Yeah. Like, um, that came out of it, and I picked the best and put it back together. I don't know if you need them because you probably might not have. But there's a spare, that's what that looks like. Oh, hood, and hood. I'll tell you what a what a tangled thing to put that in there. I know, like, you have to go in every direction, all back and forth, like a zigzag puzzle, yeah, like yeah. a maze, in yeah, order to get that up in the there. Same way, only worse. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything here you need, but anyway, all just plastic. But, um, yeah, um, I think that's Studebaker. I don't know if I have, no, I don't, I do have original throw bearing. I had to, uh, there's another one of those. See, that's what happens to them. They rust out. Okay. Yeah. But I have new rubbers for that, but I, I haven't come across them yet. Yeah. But anyway, um, the throw bearings, I bought one from a guy that is thinning out of stock in the States, retiring, and it was $100 return. I had to send him one. But he said he was thinning out of stock, but I still had to send him mine yeah. on exchange. Yeah. Know what I mean? Like it, he wanted he, to rebuild it's it. It's kind of like someone that works all their life. They can't retire. They got to work right for the no. day they die because they don't know any other reality. It's not, it's not a bad thing, I guess. Yeah. 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 Going. Keeps them busy. Don't stop. Don't keep stop. Keeps us rolling. Don't you, mate? Get yeah. cold, sweetheart? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. We cleared this area. All right, Jim, I made it my mind. I want to buy that bike. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Yep, she's yours. I, the papers and keys are in the medicine cabinet. Well, we won't worry about that right my, now. Well, we bathroom. can come back anytime you're busy with this. Oh, this is Hudson. But I, I'll bring the treasure back and we'll load it on that. <laughs> See, the throw-up bearing is quite a, quite a art to put the throw-up bearing. You have to watch. You read the book 50 times, <laughs> and then you very meticulously put it in step by step and make sure you got it perfectly square or else it'll go a little bit crooked and it'll gouge this. I don't have the book. <laughs> I borrowed the book from George Bruce, but I had the book open and closed so many times the pages were falling out. Oh, and, oh he was not happy when I gave it back to him. Yeah, it, was, it almost made me cry. He's so unhappy that I... That you looked I, at the book? Yeah, I wore... It was an antique book, right? It was... Yes. A, yeah. Like 1946, original service manual, and he lent it to me for two or three years while I was putting this Hudson together, and I wore it out. I had the book open and closed so many times, the pages were all falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> you should take them. <laughs> and I, I didn't I, want to fix it because it wasn't mine to fix, right? Yeah. You know, it was mine for a while to wreck, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not done. There's still more back here. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that today. Uh -huh. No, I wasn't expecting that at all. All this right here goes. I never knew he would even sell. All, all this, Jim? All wow. right there. And of course, I left my flashlight. Didn't, well, didn't, the, uh... didn't expect that, but it's our chance to own one of those, you know what I'm saying? We've never, we've, we started collecting bikes a little bit, you know, cheaper bikes, ones we can afford, but 
that there is one of the bikes that are sought after. So for that price seems right. I mean, let's face it, pieces are missing, but yeah, it's something you probably have a hard time finding at that price. And uh, he has papers with it. That means a lot. And it looks mostly original except for the exhaust and the handlebars. But, the war yeah. these miserable damn things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's cool, yeah. baby. They That's cool. That in the end. It was the one that's, that's in excitement. it. Like so I <laughs> cool. cleaned it up. It was seized, but I, yeah. I freed it up. But anyway, don't use that. Don't use that the way it is, you mean. No. <laughs> you shouldn't need it anyway, because when it's on it, Wow. And this originally back, came... We'll get it more now. Oh, yeah, it helps up. Move to some junk if you want to take it out. Uh, this okay. went uh, originally on the radiator. Okay. But I did like it, so I left it off. I got the brass, though. Oh, yeah, it does. I'm going to put this in the back of the car. You can grab a box anywhere if you want. Well, I haven't had this much fun. I haven't had this much fun for years. <laughs> like probably 17 years. Really? I'm <laughs> good, Jim. Happy for you. Yeah. Well, I bought that. The guy, he, um, his wife left him. And he needed the money on this to build table? a cabin. Yeah, the guy that had that, his wife left him. And he had to move back home with his mother to get him out of the house. And he was building a log little house in the backwoods behind his mother's house. And he was running out of money, and he wanted three hundred dollars for that bike, and I gave him seven. I took a thousand with me, and he wanted three hundred and fifty dollars for it. And I said no. I gave him seven hundred dollars for it. Wow. And he, um, we loaded up, brought it home, and I never got back to it. Wow. How many years ago was that? Uh, two or three years before I moved here, so it would have been twenty years ago. Wow. You've owned this twenty years. So I've had that. T I've lived here 18. Okay, cool. It feels like uh, it feels like two or three, but it hasn't. No, 2003. I moved here and I bought that around 2000. Tim, did you say these were Hudson or no? Uh, yes, that's all Hudson. Yeah, and I don't know. That's Volkswagen, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Things that's easy. all Hudson. Kind of and um, this, I have a. I could not find a machine shop that could do this for me. So I uh, got one machine shop. Baby, this is what they did. They cut the top off it. And they gave it back to me. And I say that because we are 50 50, baby. We're, we're, we're teammates. Yep. Yep. Teammates. And I would never buy something like that without asking Jolene. That's just because we're teammates. We both have to be on the same page. Ooh, I'm so glad you're on my page. <laughs> It's funny, eh? We just had a, a friend message us and asked if, if the bike was for sale. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, I might ask him, but I'm going to ask him for myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That's just the way it went. Anyway, that's a spare one of this. Yeah, kind of been looking around for, for bikes like this. This is something I would remember. I was going to burn around the streets when I was younger, and I couldn't own one. That's what. That's how I remember them. And besides that, I'd probably been three. <laughs> One glad Jim's happy, eh? Yeah. Huh? Listen, someone says that he's happy he's been in 14 years. I think I've been saying the exact same thing. Last little while. I've been the happiest I've ever been in my life. And the reason I say that is because I am. <laughs> it's funny the stuff that Jim went through or goes through every time he moves something. He has to pick it up and move it. It's funny. I can see him being happy unloading some stuff because it wouldn't be a big overload, you know what I mean? Coming in and trying to move all this all the time. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of breath and a breath of fresh air. And, and as we look at it, it, it's only really all the stuff is only worth what someone's willing to pay you know anybody can say anything on the what on the tube but it's only worth what someone can pay and or someone's willing to pay and, uh, let's face it um, people all around the world are watching that's great but um, you have to be right here at the present moment you know um, we are living in real time here real time that's what's going on what I mean by real time is is what we show you is what as real as it gets. There's a little emblem on this 
He's got the 900. He's got that tag on that one there. I'm not worried about it much, but I am looking for it for one on this side. We haven't got nothing broke on that. That looks good. You know what I mean? It's all good. It has been, nothing's been broke. The clip's on it. Uh, the seat. I'm kind of wondering if he'd give us that seat that went on that bike. Did he give us a seat that went on that bike? I think it was burgundy too, like that. I know he gave this one. I don't know what it was. He gave us a seat one time. He didn't like it. And he said, that's not the seat. But anyways, it might be. Who knows? Uh, let's see. But if you want... You can move, jump there a little bit. I'm just sliding stuff out of the way here a little bit. You don't know if you had the little, the little tiny emblem on that side, do you? No, it was missing. Good. That's a quick answer, and I like the answer. Um, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe, Stu, there. maybe I don't. Well, that stuff there leads you on to... There's an Essex motor, but that's my loosest. I'm just going to leave this uh, stuff out. Sure. If you want to... just going to leave this stuff here for a second. Uh, well, and it's the crank is all for like it, it's uh, uh, the biggest problem with the Hudson Motors was if a little lock wash or hold one of those retainers cracked and a little chunk came out, it would go down through the dipper, would catch it, go up and plug off the hole or sludge or dirt in the oil anywhere's get it anywhere's near that plunger or that dipper. It would go up and run down the trough, plug up the hole, and take go to bear. So it was recommended every every few thousand miles to take the oil pans down and clean them up. Yeah. So I had troubles with the drain plug soldering job. I'm not good at soldering. So it kept dripping. So I got mad and I just cut it out and I welded a plate there. Okay. And then I bought extra gaskets yeah. and I figured, geez, every few hundred miles I got to adjust the valves anyway because they yeah. seem to be loosening all the time. Yeah. It's got all new valves, all new guides. Yeah. Alan Armstrong did the crank, new bearings. Yeah. The original, I had uh, the connecting, connecting rods had pistons put on and the connecting rods were straightened at International and Nova and mm -hmm. Dartmouth. Yep. But anyway. Uh, Hopefully I'm not gonna have to strip it. Uh, <laughs> no, you shouldn't have to unless you break it. Okay. Well, but um, well, it, it's, it's all kind of new except for a shirt board. But, um, oh, there's, Hmm. That's the that's the drive shaft of the car. Mm -hmm. I don't think you know, need it unless you need that. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's the drive shaft out of the car because that's the drive shaft of the Studebaker yeah. plus the drive yeah that's the drive shaft of the car if you want it in case you need that. Part. And the U joints that are in the Hudson were brand new. But no grease fittings. They're the old style. You've got to take them off every 10,000 miles, repack them. They got little troughs in there to pack full of grease, and then you put it back together. But I had them brand new, so I didn't buy the new ones. I just put new ones in. But they have no grease fitting. They're the type they're supposed to take apart and repack. But anyway, that is Hudson. And this is all Hudson, all up here. This stuff works some good for spacers because it doesn't crack like wouldn't like if you're doing repair work or I got some of it in the box because some of my headers going across weren't quite in the right place so I've got a couple strips of that going across to bring as spacers but that is beautiful stuff for strapping boards in a house because a wooden shingle when you push screw in the wooden shingle cracks but you just put a couple fold that over and stick it in and it's foolproof like anyway these are I bought new rubbers like they were like Two hundred dollars a piece, but anyway, I bought all new rubbers. But there's these aren't that bad. And these are this is all Hudson. Oh, you drop the drive drive shaft. I'll just load you up with the right stuff. Yo, you guys keep coming here, and this barn is gonna be empty. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I think Hallelujah. I don't even have to look at it. I'm pretty sure it's all up to me. Anyway, that stuff is real good stuff if you need it. Well, uh, I think this is all new stuff. And I'm not done the studio. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is all new stuff. And that's running boards, new running boards for the studio baker.
some of the comments, uh, they run from A to Z, <laughs> from negative to super positive. It's yeah. it kind of pretty entertaining. Like, like I always I say. I try to keep to myself. I don't want to get involved with every single person's comment. I, like everybody's free to speak their own mind anyway. But the comments tell you who they are, doesn't it? Well, or that particular moment of what they see. It doesn't really mean that that's how they are. They just see it that way. Maybe they're in a bad mood or whatever. Like, Maybe they're in a bad mood. <laughs> well, no, sometimes people in different parts of the country, they see things different because they have a different reality. This is this one right here, the Z9 burn fine. That's, that's, yeah. that's an episode in itself, really. Yeah. Burn fine, Z9. Said one. Did you hear that? Said, said one. one. Nine. One. Z one. Z one. Z one. Wow. Some people, to save that uh, slur, they call it Z one. But anyway, it, is that that's that's Hudson? Yeah. That's the one that came on it. But I like the shiny one. So yeah, I, I do too. Yeah. Oh. That's too good. <laughs> How you making it, Doug? I'm doing just great here. Doing just great, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. The Jim's happy. Doug's happy. I'm happy. Joni will let me know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this right here goes. Joni is yeah. usually yeah. always happy. And, that goes. and she's happy right now. This is all Hudson, too. I just moved that. I picked this that is all up. the original. Pick that up, mood, right? That there. is the. The brake, emergency brake combo. Hudson had it set up so when you put your brakes on, the emergency brake cable came on. Oh, wow. I didn't use it. There it is right yes, there. Yes, but that's not a bad idea. But that's how they did it. It kept the cables from season. That's what I was thinking. At least you're using it. I'm going to try to get this, have this thing out here on the thing. Here. I'm going to try. See what happens. Ooh. I believe that's how she, yeah. This be, how, how long have you, how long have you, since you moved this, Jimbo? Um, seven, seven or eight years. Anyway, lost count. Anybody wants a, this is a, a 72 Bavaria BMW motor. Six cylinder, slant six, Bavaria. And it, uh, I flooded it. I used to drive this car. I flooded it one day and it wouldn't go. I, and it rained every day. Came back a week later with the battery. Seized up solid. Only good motors will seize, right? Seized up solid. So I poured it, filled up with transmission oil. Yeah. And I brought it along. But there it is. But these are notorious for people putting the head on torquing them wrong or not replacing the bolts in the back. So if anybody in the world ever needs a head from BMW, that'd be a million dollars, wouldn't it? Or well, anyway, there's one right there. I kind of like the engine because it's got this carburation system. Yeah. Wow. And I've got the air breather. But anyway, it is stuck. It won't turn over, but it did run four speed, five speed, or four speed, I think. It's BMW. a 72 Bavaria. Bavaria. And he's starting to throw things up for sale now. He's like, yeah. wow. Uh, yeah, that's all Hudson stuff there. That's the original emergency brake combo. Yeah. Uh, when you put the brake pedal on, the emergency brake pulled. Okay. So I put three quarter time 1978 Chev cables on, modified, cause, yeah. and then I put a, like a cable hook up in the center, so one cable pulled two cables. Yeah. And it, the attachments went into the hub original way. Yeah. And it works, and it saved hundreds of dollars. Yeah. And it works. You know what I mean? But I didn't put that back on. Yeah. Just, there's the manifold for it. That's 600. Can you put the back on for a second? That's going to take more than, than me. The main rush should be on. Oh, that tray right here. Oh, you're busy, aren't you? <laughs> I can move something for you. You want to try to move something? You want to move? This box right here. Yeah, would you? Yeah, Doug. Yeah. Let me put these pistons in the Jaguar. <laughs> I said, can we, can we put these pistons in the Jaguar? Sure. <laughs> <laughs>
Those pistons are, are um, they're no, they're exactly in the same condition as the ones that I had rebuilt. So they're like, they're not worse. They're exactly the same. I just picked six of the best to have them straightened and then I had new pistons put on them. Better than the production of things. Do you know why? It's more reachable. Um, if you know what I'm saying. Anybody can really buy a piece of junk. Yeah. Right? Look at that now, would you? Oh, yeah, you're getting that. Wow. I can't I can't believe it. Well now that we got rid of this motor, we we got more room over here. I can't believe it. Then we should take you over to Bernie Smith sometimes. You guys will be kindred spirits. <laughs> Put the thing, you know, yeah. look, look after things. Uh, I should maybe put a plank here and we'll roar up the plank. Um, yeah. There's a bird. I, I did have, oh, there it is. If you'll steer it, Jim, I'll pull it. If you'll steer it. Oh, you mean jump on it? No. If you're driving? driving? Steer the end. Yeah. Watch out for that. Don't fall break your neck. Oh no, put definitely put that up. It'll catch sure this way. The in the yeah, got myself in a lot of trouble back years ago because of a bike exactly like that. But I survived. Actually, um, I don't. Do? Maybe I didn't, but uh, I'm still here. So. What, what did you do for a living, Jim? I um. I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, I uh, dipped rollers in alkaline for 30 years at Larson Packers. Yeah. Rollers that the pigs ran on. Yeah. I had the job in a real tiny room at 160 <laughs> degrees. Dipping a hundred rollers in in I'm pick this thing up and wash it off. Over yeah. some more. No, I just move the board. That's all I have to do. Well, yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah, the handlebars might. Oh, turn the handlebars the other way. Turn the handlebars the other way. Yeah, right there. Just a second now. Just a second now. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, this thing, turn straight. Yeah, real straight. Gonna go oh, off you the should bar. go to the other side, Jolene, and catch the exhaust uh, sunlight header <laughs> system. Is it going to go off the board on the other side of the front wheel? Very good. Front wheel? Everybody's going to want to see this. Oh, wow. No, if I had that, I'd be in jail. <laughs> if I had that on the road, I'd be in jail. Because okay. the first thing I'd do would be I'd restore it. Uh, boom, 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 and away I'd go. And the second here, I'd have her up straight. <laughs> Straight down, because I know I, 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 you stand up? I, I was notorious. Okay. Uh, every people, uh, they're all, of, all of the people around here from years ago know me quite well. I drove <laughs> one of these a lot, and then I, That's I so gave great. it up, and then I went into the ninjas for a few years, and then I decided to give it off because no, uh, I would, would take the front end around well, it's kind of like it's, it's lighter in the front I it? think it was one of the Beatles well, said about well, LSD um, we I'll went as far as we could you want to go couldn't way, go any farther <laughs> like no I mean um how went as far as you could so we don't do it how fast did you get this go up bike I was done with a header will go 135 miles an hour and a 900 Ninja would go 155, and I also had an 1100 Ninja that would go 300 kilometers an hour. Wow. But I survived it. <laughs> you know, that's very easy. Ha ha ha! You're pushing against me. Okay. You can't get no, I'm trying to stand her up a little bit, that's all, Doug. You're overstanding. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be problems. People upset now. about okay, this. Here. I'll stand up because stand everybody up. should hog once one of these, but um, I was holding against you, was it, Doug? Yeah. Oh, the headlight fell. I'm sorry. 
That's all right. We'll make that. Oh, oh that truck has to be pushed out. That's again. fine. We're not going anywhere with this bike this second. Okay. We got to pay you by it. <laughs> <laughs> um, over here, there's a headlight for it. I've seen it, right? Yeah. There's oh. some tie covers right no, here. No, that's Model A adapters. That's, uh, that goes on Model A right down to the CLB CD. CLB. But anyway, no, over here. A uh, what? A uh, headlight. Okay. I'm going to put these. Uh, if I remember right, there's one for 1100 Yamaha. There's and one for the Z1. These things here. No, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Uh, upstairs, there's several of them. Gas tanks? I don't know where they're called. He's got a couple there. Yeah, he did have, I remember the mine. What's this little one over here? That's nice. That's worth money. That's a CB. That, oh, but CB. that might be for 1100 Like, But anyway, there. Nope, that's yours. Nope. Take it in case you need it. Uh, that, you owe me a favor for that if, if you use it. <laughs> All right, I said keep okay. it. You owe a favor. No, you better take it. It's no good. We're not doing anything here. Doing here. How do you know it's two CB? It says. Uh, yeah, right on the front. That symbol, that triangle symbol on the glass, that means it's a CB, original CB. Okay. But I don't have two, so it's no good for a car. But they're nice, like they're like beautiful lights. Gotcha. Oh, Doug, this box here. Thank you, Mark. That box there. Right there. This box. Which one, Jim? Hunting stuff is going to be that box right here. All goes if you want. Sure. Yeah, hunting stuff is going to be popping up here for years. I'll just keep it in a pile and everyone wants to all bring it down to Ted's. Or just give me a call. I can yeah. get it. Wow. Hey, we just bought a motorcycle. <laughs> There's a set of uh, four carburetors. Um, I think it's 650 Cali, like 76, 77. Uh, I bought that from a Kawasaki dealer that the guy retired, and he used this for 10 years in his shop as a doorstop. <laughs> when he opened up his shop, yeah. this is what he used. Because yeah. uh, at the end of the day, nobody would buy these. What is it? 650 Cali. They're a little bit smaller than the 900, but the guy bought all new parts for the carburetors on that. So when you take them apart, they should still be good because uh, that's kind of a major part of the entertain, like the tuning is carburetor. But do not run the motor until you take the head off and make I'm sure- I'm not gonna run anything. I'm probably just gonna leave for now. Yeah. Start because to it'd be drastic if you started it up and the chain thrashes and breaks and puts a hole in the side of the block or something. I might need the dust on it. Because these things are notorious for those idle arms to break up. So you, as long as you do your maintenance, they're pretty good. But, I might, I might, I might need uh, the dust See, on. I see that, all I see is high, like I, I feel like I'm 18 years old again, <laughs> and I know I'd be losing my license, I'd be in jail. So and that's only if I was lucky. So I'm taking go. Don't even have a bike license. Uh, I, but I appreciate what it is, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it was, was it the fastest bike at the time? Uh, it was as fast as the king of the road. That's what it was advertised as. Like It got the reputation very quickly in North America, or worldwide, as the king of the road. It, like 1976, 75, 74. But, um, oh, I got another one of those. I want one, haven't I? Mm -hmm. Didn't want a hand putting the slider back up. Uh, no, no, that's taking down. Or up. Okay. Jolene talked me into coming. Coming. <laughs> huh? See what you did, baby? <laughs> Woo! That's nice. I love it. I love that's it. That's not going in the living room. Huh? That's not going in the living room. <laughs> Listen, I'm you telling you. You to do some cleaning out first of all. Well, well you I, found the tank. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, the tank was on it. The, the oh, side the piece seat, of it. The seat. The seat. Right. I'm thinking that. I, I really like this bike. Yeah. It's a nice bike. But I paid 700 for it. And I was real generous with the guy. But anyway. Um, well, you know something? Did you, if you put your money in the bank, would you have made $3,500 no. until now? No. 
There you go. And that's why I enjoy I don't I mind buying a few things, you know what I mean? You don't you can't you can't get your money back in the bank like you can't if you spend it and hold on to it, look after it. So we paid seven hundred dollars for it, twenty years later you sell for thirty five hundred, so you realize not, if they put this on the road, you got to do at least 100 miles an hour. Or, or, uh, I don't. <laughs> that's not me. You got a bad rep. That was a lot better time investment for my life than the Hudson. Well, you put it there. <laughs> <laughs> like the Hudson, I, I um, yeah, that, uh, I enjoyed building it, though. And it drives down the road beautiful, but it was exhausting every time I went someplace it wouldn't go. And I had troubles, like, but anyway, you... you you, oh, uh, one of the comments somebody put in, uh, I think Doug bought, uh, uh, for tw bought $12,000 worth of problems or trouble at night. <laughs> but, uh, it, they but, obviously don't appreciate what it is. No, no. Well, it must have, it might have just been the guy's mood at the time. Doesn't appreciate what it is. But, uh, the tr they are, I don't know. I'm, a, I, like, it, Looking back, I'm actually more of a Studebaker person. Mm -hmm. um, Studebakers, they'll run on like one cylinder mm -hmm. and get you home. Like, right like you can fall, pass out, you'd be a drunk and pass out like on a horse, and the Studebaker <laughs> will get you home. But the Hudson <laughs> will leave you walking no matter what, especially if you need it. Uh, do, you, do you remember that when we caught that one on fire at my place? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that burned my eyebrows <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. I had a drink of rum, he caught her on fire, I had yeah. Yeah, <laughs> tried to get awful. it out, but I didn't do it. Oh. Shocky there. Yeah, I actually would give him that tank because he had this. Oh, well, I at this time I'm not gonna feel bad if you missed anything. It's still here. Yeah. It's yeah. yours. And I'm gonna leave this right here. Do you mind that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll come back. I won't sell. Probably tomorrow. I won't double uh, sell. Oh, good, good, good. I haven't I'll, got I'll your money yet. To so tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> huh? I'll just do what Doug does. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring back the trailer tomorrow. Well, you don't does have to do that. that. We can just go over town and get a does that U-Car. No, 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 no. You travel down. back. Jeez, no that might be the same, because that's all it's got. It's kind of pitted. That might bolt right in there. That's a nice one. I like that. Yeah, those, that's a CB. See, it says right here, it's CB. Okay. Yeah, yeah we will. Oh, there you go. Yeah. No, I'll bring cool. the trailer back tomorrow. So we're you're coming down tomorrow? Yeah. Do some tape. We're going to tape. And yeah. Okay, you'll pull some parts off. Yep. Yeah. But make sure you do the servicing not on the top end before you start it. Not doing anything yeah, to it because uh, that's crucial. Because I, I had one of these, and uh, mine had so many miles on it. The transmission was wore out, and it used to have to have it uh, wide open in fourth gear just before I'd shift into fifth. Pop out of gear and over rev, and all my valves came down and hit the pistons. So I had to replace all eight valves and stuff like oh. Uh, Oh, I, I, I uh, broke it quite a few times and I also went off the road a couple times, but um, That's all the police, I, I was well known, <laughs> I was well known and hated by some. Yeah. But see, back in the 70s, uh, uh, they, they, didn't, they didn't have the same attitude towards stuff as they do now. Well, but you'd be called stunt you know, nowadays. Think, yeah, Did back you, then, yeah. you'd get stopped going wide open down the back road, scraping and going around corners and... Uh, sparks flying everywhere and wheelies and racing and everything else and the police would pull, pull you over and the fact that you pulled over you get a little talking to look guys slow down yeah. Yeah. get back and no fines no nothing yeah. know what I mean but nowadays it's like you're in jail for life me and Jolene was going down the road here a bit ago we pulled over and they were chasing a couple bikes and they weren't catching them yeah. they yeah. weren't catching them no, you know, but boy, back years ago, you used to hear four barrels going all the time and motorcycles like back in the 70s and 80s, it was quite a happening place. Same as vocational <laughs> school. You used to have people uh, smoking dope right in the, right walking down the hall, stepping between people's legs where <laughs> they're laying on the hall and music playing from the speakers. Well, you go there now, it's like it's military run. Like it's totally like... Like it's a totally different world, but I wish tobacco was a little cheaper. <laughs> really. Want to sign off? Yeah. Signing off. We got. Ooh, I'm happy with that. Jim, thanks, buddy. Well, uh, thanks, buddy. I yeah. feel a little bad sounding to you for that high no, price. No, I'm not. But I think that's reasonable because I'm sure someone would say, "Oh, I'll give you 3,500 if I sold for three. You know what I mean? And I like. 
But uh, this means I won't have a whole bunch of people criticize me too much because I'm sure it's not <laughs> worth more than that because it costs a lot of money to restore it. Really you know, probably, it yeah. Like it's probably five, six hundred dollars for the fork tubes. Yeah. You know, you know, but they, you drive, well, you can probably clean it up. No, that, that's going to leak if you drive it. Uh, COs are fussy, right? Especially on a motorcycle. COs are real fussy. That would dump the oil right, pump the oil right out. Well, I'm just thinking the chance to own one. They're hard to get. Yeah. yeah. I've been looking they're around. not making them anymore, are they? No, they're not. Same as those antique skidoos. They are not making them anymore. That's right. But if I fixed it up, um, it would bring my youth back and I'd be in trouble. So I, and I don't want to go back there. Same as well, I used to party a lot when I was younger, uh, big time. And I'm not going back there either. I can't, I drink, there's not enough entertainment going on in the world to support me to drink a beer. There you go. But that's how my attitude is. I'm going and to I'm drink a beer after buying in. that. Thanks, Jim. We're signing uh, off. The three amigos and the beautiful one woman. <laughs>